Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Friday, January 22nd. You see temperatures in low to mid 20s across the area. We expect clouds and a few flurries off and on today. And we expect a pretty calm weekend with uh, conditions mainly dry. We'll have more in the way of sunshine, I think, on Saturday. A little more in the way of clouds on Sunday as the next system approaches, which may bring us a touch of rain or snow. It's been leaning a little bit warmer on the models. But uh, again, this will not be a big system as we get into Monday, Monday night. And then we may have another clipper uh, towards the end of the week that could bring us some uh, snow. But again, that's quite a ways away. But we'll certainly keep an eye on any systems. Right now, we expect no big storms, no big major Arctic outbreaks, and no uh, huge warm-ups. We're going to find our temperatures uh, within 3 to 5 degrees above or below normal here over the next uh, week to 10 days. But not the case out east as they're expecting a major blizzard to affect especially the areas of Washington, D.C., Baltimore, and the surrounding areas. And boy, are they going to get clobbered. If we take a look at the uh, surface map this morning, you can see low pressure now uh, moving across uh, portions of uh, uh, Alabama. It's going to be heading towards the uh, Virginia coast. It'll then move up the coast and then eventually out to sea. But it's going to bring a tremendous amount of snow to uh, parts of the mid-Atlantic states. And you can see that weak clipper system responsible for some of the snow flurries and snow showers today moving to uh, Lake Huron. And if we look at the map and the motion by tomorrow morning, that energy will be absorbed by this big storm. And this will be the big player in town. It's going to have lots of heavy snow, freezing rain up to a half inch or more near the coast. And eventually, as the storm moves to the north and then to the northeast out to sea, the cold air will wrap around. So any of the areas that are getting rain or frozen precipitation turn over to snow. But in areas like D.C. and Washington, looks like, or uh, and Baltimore, excuse me, they're going to get uh, mainly all snow. They could have some sleep mixed in late tonight, early tomorrow. But for the most part, those two areas are going to have just very heavy snow. It'll become lighter in nature as far as the dryness of the snow, and that's going to allow it to really blow and drift. Would not be surprised to see snow drifts in those areas of 5 to 10 feet. And uh, again, this is going to be a pretty life-threatening situation. It'll paralyze those two cities for at least a couple of days before they can begin cleanup. If we look at the uh, on the uh, tidbits, the tropical tidbits weather site, you can see by tomorrow morning 988 millibar low. Again, that's a little bit uh, stronger than the models by a few millibars. And with the tightly packed isobars, you can see it's going to create a tremendous amount of wind. They can have wind gusts around 50 to 55 miles per hour in D.C. and Baltimore are really blowing that snow around. If we look at some of the forecast of snowfall amounts, this is off the Canadian model. You can see a solid two feet plus across much of that area. And if we look at the uh, GFS model, uh, they're putting down about two to three, maybe even three and a half feet of snow across that area with even an isolated amount showing up around the suburbs of 40 plus inches. So certainly two to three feet is very possible in the DC Baltimore area. So uh, do be careful out there and have your comfort food around because you probably won't want to get out into the weather for a couple of days. And later on today, this will be a whole different scene. This is from the National Mall in D.C., a live view of their webcam. Again, uh, this will uh, be a very interesting to storm to uh, sit back and watch from a distance. And you can see while it's not snowing there now, you can see on the last few frames, here's D.C., there's Baltimore here to the northeast. And again, that snow is not that far away. It's now developing and moving into that area. So. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day, a great weekend, and 73s to all.